is the flux ID that's connected to my flux arm. And the goal here is to get this talking with OpenPNP. And I think that uh, we're getting very, very close to that reality here. So it's running a simple JSON server, uh, command server. And I've got a small script here that has a bunch of stubs for the various commands that are that come from OpenPNP and that will be called within the Flux IDE. So if we come over here and we pull up an OpenPNP, this is OpenPNP, an open source pick and place software package that's full featured and I mean is awesome. But what I've done is I've built a special G code driver. Uh, and the, the driver actually was already existing, but it was serial port based. So I revised it to work with TCP and talk directly to the Flux IDE arm. So here we have a list of commands. These commands are executed as various events happen within the pick and place system. So for instance, if we look at the connect command here, this is what will go over to the, fl the Flux IDE uh, and end up in its log files and ultimately issue commands. So if we come in here and we open up the terminal, terminal and we tail our Flux IDE log here, we can um, we can do that by, we, we can see what happens as we issue some commands. So this is currently connected. Um, if I enable it, it's it's now enabled here. Let's see if I can get both of these open side by side. So as I, oh, oh it's already connected. So now it's enabled. Uh, as I jog around, you can see that these values of X are changing or we can do Y. Um, we can move Z around, we can go ahead and park, and let's park the Z as well. Um, we can do the rotational movements, or we can home the machine. So all these, you know, and, and this is all wired up to, you know, if we're moving 10 millimeters at a time, you can see the image up top there is kind of moving around as we uh, jog around. But everything's pretty well wired up. So the only things left to implement are uh, within, the, within the script that actually is receiving and, and logging that stuff. For instance, let's look at the, the move to command. So the move to command right here is being called every time we jog the machine. And right now all we're doing is just is just printing out um, what we received, but we would need to implement here, come in and implement the actual um, the actual movements uh, movement commands. So we're getting close. It's uh, basic communication is happening now. I'm feeling pretty good about that. And as soon as we can implement uh, the actual movement commands, which should be pretty straightforward. And I think that we will have open PNP and uh, these flux arms ready to go.